50 feet. Oh, they brought security in here. <laughs> okay. Need you to move back, folks. For this incredible show of enthusiasm to show aviation innovation in the making, we heard uh, somewhere that there was going to be a jetpack demonstration on Aeroshell Square. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for being here for that. I am very pleased to introduce EAA President and Air Venture Chairman Tom Poberesny, who will introduce the folks from Martin Jetpack. Thank you, David. We brought in some shape here for those who decide a little bit of shape and compliments of Boeing. <laughs> in fact, it's pretty unique when you look over your back here and some of you looking forward to seeing the dream lift here and see the Martin Jetpack. Uh, Oshkosh, the home of innovation. Anybody who has a passion for flying is here in Oshkosh this week. It's, a, it's amazing. Anybody and everybody who loves aviation is here throughout the week of Oshkosh, so this is just another example. In just a moment, you're going to meet Glenn Martin and his family. Glenn is from Christchurch, New Zealand. Been a member of EA for eight years, and this has been a dream of his, the Martin Jetpack. He was on the front page this morning of the New York Times, which is quite an accomplishment. As you can see, Glenn, by the number of people here, there's quite a bit of interest in what you're about to see. So let's welcome EA member and New Zealander, Glenn Martin. Thank you for all these people. We're totally overwhelmed. So, uh, with far too much time on my hands when I was at university, I decided to research this and design something that would solve all those problems. So, after 27 years and 11 prototypes, we've got to the point now where all those issues are gone. We've now got something that you can strap on, you can fly around for up to 30 minutes. Uh, we've got something now that I suppose is what we call our newborn baby. And it's very analogous to the famous Wright Brothers story. You know, that 12 seconds at, at Kitty Hawk were famous and pivotal. You know, we've done our, our Wright Brothers moment, we've done our 12 seconds proving flight, we've moved on from there. We're now flying figure eights, we're flying circuits, or, or as you call them here in America, uh, patterns and hovering. And we're, but it's still a newborn baby. And although this is our 11th prototype, next year when we come back, what you'll see will be you have to be more capable than this. And we'll build on the future, just like the EAA does. Uh, we've got something here that we think that the technology is, is almost limitless. We can go into the future and have better payloads, better endurance, better time, uh, better training system. So where we are as a project at the moment is uh, we're ready to unveil this. We'll do a quick demonstration of the machine. Uh, I'll talk about the capabilities in a few more details after we've unveiled it. And now for the unveiling of the jetpack. So what we're going to do today is Harrison going to strap in. We've got issues obviously with crowd and safety and, and all that sort of stuff. So we're going to do a straight hold and we've been given permission to do that as long as we hold them down. So we're going to do that now. 